keep your eyes on number nine. That was Patrick Jones II when he was a senior at Grassfield High School. As a defensive lineman, he was considered undersized and under-recruited. It built a chip on my shoulder. I feel like I could go out there and be just as good as everybody else. Four years and more than 21 sacks later, he's ready to hear his name called at this weekend's NFL Draft. It's crazy. It's just an unreal feeling. Just knowing that everything you, I worked for my whole life is finally here. And talk about work. As a freshman at Pittsburgh, he weighed a slender 225 pounds. Came in there, a little scrawny boy. Jones then put on 40 pounds, became a team captain and a consensus All-American, but understands he'll have to get right back to work. I already know the competition is going to be something serious. It's the best of the best. So all I know is I got to bring that same work, work ethic that I had growing up. He calls Chesapeake home, but as the son of a Navy officer, grew up all over the world, including Japan, where he was born. It made me very cultured. It made me uh, able to, able to when I get somewhere new, to, to uh, adapt easier. It just helped me just help me just be a better overall person. Draft experts agree Jones has natural ability and some of the same explosiveness he sees in some of his favorite players. Oh, I like Patrick Willis a lot. He was one of my favorite players. And then as I got older and started playing defensive end, T.J. Watt next door, he's somebody who I watch and try to learn a lot from. I watch Khalil Mack, uh, of course Aaron Donald because he went to Pitt. The best pass rusher in college football. Keep your eyes on big Patrick Jones the second, maybe a round three selection in this weekend's draft. In Chesapeake, I'm Nathan Epstein for the Sports Wrap.